The Rahmi Koch Museum is the first largest museum enlightening the history of transportation, industry and communications. The museum, which opened to the public in the year 1994, is located in the Husko neighbourhood of the northern shore of the Golden Horn. The museum, which also offers audio services, is open every day except for Mondays. The museum, which has been built on 27,000 square kilometres of land, consists of three main sections. The historical Lengerheine building, the historical Husko dockyard and the outdoor exhibition area. The historical Langerheine building. The chain and the anchor used to immobilize a ship is called Langer and the place where these were produced were called a Langerheine. The history of this Ottoman Langerheine, which had been established on the foundations of a building structured during the Byzantine era, goes back to the period of Sultan Ahmed III. The rectangular land, which is close to 2100 square kilometers, includes the Langerheine building, a small building with a wooden roof and stone walls. The whole purpose of ensuring restorations without disturbing the inner courtyard and the outer landscape of this area in the design of the museum was done so visitors could have a feel for the buildings together with the exhibits on display. The first floor of the Langerheine building exhibits the steamed machinery models. The lower floor, aeronautics, locomotives and automobile models, toys, maritime, cinema and press machineries can be found. The top floor, on the other hand, exhibits scientific tools and communication mediums. The Historical Husko Dockyard The Husko Dockyard was established by the Ottoman Sea Line Company in the year 1861 for the purposes of restoring and renovating their own ships. The dockyard which initially consisted of only a few buildings in the form of workshops, was developed further when the opportunities surfaced. Firstly, a 45-metre wooden sled was built and its hauling power was attained through a steaming system. While this was transformed into an electrical system in 1910, the Kojatash and Sariyar Sea Line ferries numbered 75 and 76 were built here in 1938. In the years to follow, and in accordance with the changes made to sea transportations, the Husko dockyard had passed into other hands up until the 1980s. From an industrial archaeological perspective, the dockyard, which is just as important as the Lengerhane, is spread out on a land of 11,000 square kilometers. The 14 buildings, which encapsulate three sides of the land in a U-shape, has been restored in accordance with its original forms. The submarine division, as well as automobiles, an olive oil factory, a carpenter's shop, ship machinery, a historical sledge, nostalgic stores, a ship steam machinery, and marine and rail transportation parts are exhibited in the entrance level of the Husko dockyard. The 
The top floor accommodates bicycles, motorbikes, prams, ox carts, horse carts, sledges, rowboats and turn benches. The open air exhibition area. From the main entrance at Husco Street down to the seaside covering the parking space, a large area is reserved for the displaying items at open air. Classical automobiles, a humongous Turgut Alp crane, a B-24 Liberator and other aeroplanes, as well as the Fenerbahce ship and TCG Uluç Ali Reis submarine, which are anchored at the Golden Horn, are amongst this museum collection. <laughs>